Hey guys, and welcome back to this Chelsea FIFA 19 career mode. Don't forget there'll be a Crystal Palace career mode stream tonight. Uh, approximate start around quarter past, half past eight UK time. So the link to my Twitch channel is, of course, in the description down below. Make sure you give that a follow and hopefully join us on the stream for some career mode action. Back to this one, though. We've got nine games to go, really coming down to the business end of the season. We've got a six-point lead over Tottenham with a game in hand which I think is this game over Fulham because it's being played on a Wednesday night, as you can see. So a real chance for us to put one of the final nails in that Spurs coffin. And pretty much we could get the title wrapped up in like the next episode if we keep winning games like we have been recently. Form has been great. Mauro Icardi has been great. We're still in the Europa League. So lots still to play for. Two trophies up for grabs that we could... To be honest, if we let the title go from here, I'll be quite angry. So we're at the cottage then for a cheeky little West London derby. Midweek, night game, under the lights. It's a good Fulham team. I mean, Tom Kearney's not there anymore, which is a big blow for them. But Acosta, Vieto and Schürrle will cause anybody problems. They're a good front three. Generally, is surprising me, though, that they're not playing Mitrovic. He's having a great season in real life, and there's always a handful. You can see we've made a couple of changes, nothing major. Ruben off the cheek comes into midfield. Zaha and Hazard behind the in-form Mauro Icardi. Vieto going back to Seri. Seri pings one out to former Chelsea man, Andre Schürrle. We know all about his qualities. World Cup winner as well, I think. Here is Seri. Oh, twisting and turning. Plays it back to Schürrle, who shoots. And that is an awful one from him. Normally a decent finisher. That ain't Schürrle. Maybe it wasn't Schürrle who hit it. No, it was Vival. Sorry. My bad. Maguire into N'Golo Kante. Seri has been knocked off the ball by Loftus-Cheek. He looks left. We'll see the run of Marcus Alonso, who's on that left foot of his, which is normally so effective, and we force Sergio Rico into a good save. Why not have a pop? Corner, whipped in. Mauro Icardi with the header, Mauro Icardi with the goal. How about that for a start? He continues on this rich run of goal-scoring form. Headbutts the corner flag, headbutted the ball into the back of the net. It's a brilliant goal, to be fair, and that's silenced this home crowd quite early. Not quite sure how he's won that header, though, but never mind. It's weird because I'm still reading in the comments people saying like you're shit at FIFA, blah, 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 blah. Other people saying you're making this way too easy. It's like you literally can't win. I don't want to change the difficulty. I don't want to mess around with the sliders. We are, of course, on ultimate. Maybe we're not having a great season, but all the other title rivals have just been exceptionally poor. If you look at some of the bigger teams, they are down the bottom of the table and compared to probably what they set their early season expectations. We could be back down there in a minute. We keep defending and passing the ball like this. Well, I'm coming forward, Andre Schürrle. But yeah, not going to change the sliders, not going to change the difficulty. <sighs> Good save from Kepa. So just over half an hour played. Not the most eventful game in the world, I'll be honest with you. These derbies are often tightly contested affairs. Obviously, the Agard, uh, Icardi header from a corner was nice, gave us the lead early on, kind of settled some nerves. But other than that, it's just been like a scrappy midfield game, as you can see from the pictures on screen currently. However, Loftus-Cheek finds Wilfred Zaha, and we're two up out of absolutely nowhere. That was brilliant. We won possession back. High pressing. Loftus-Cheek won it. Slipped a pass through the centre of the Fulham defence, really. And Zaha just fired it in first time. Nothing Sergio Rico could do. Insane. Look, it was just very, very scrappy. The pass into Ruben. Perfectly weighted ball to Zaha. And he's he's been so good at finishing this season. Singing his name again. Look at that. Knew exactly where the goal was. Disappointing from the keeper, to be honest. Vieto. Oh, that's a good run from Andre Schürrle. As Pete out of position. Desperately trying to get back. Oh, Schürrle with a nice turn. Chance to get the shot in on goal. Rudiger, exceptional defending. Great block. Schürrle wins the header. Shot comes in from distance. It hits Harry Maguire and goes wide. Corner then to Fulham as we approach half-time. Keeper comes. Gets a punch on it. Defence has got to stay strong. Here is uh, this guy. I'm not even going to attempt to say his name. Goal now would bring Fulham right back into this one. If we go in at half-time with a clean sheet, I'll be confident of escaping with all three points. Hazard battling well to win the ball back. Here is Andre Schürrle, though. What can he do? P trying to battle with strength. Ball goes loose. They end up getting in the tangle. And Kepo, instead of picking the ball up, smashes it out for a throw-in. And pretty much the half-time whistle has now gone. Zaha into Icardi. Into Hazard. Start of the second half looking good so far. We're in possession. We're going forward. We're passing it around quickly, smoothly, nicely. Replicating Sari ball. If Kante gets there, that would have finished off a fantastic team move. But it just wasn't to be. That's a great ball. Tell you what, Schürrle playing out wide on this left-hand side. Caused us problems all day. Puts a really good cross in. Kepa was alert to it, though. Maguire knew he could leave it and that his goalkeeper would be there. There's that trust that they're building at the back. In the meantime, Barkley coming forward. 
Ross Barkley got an inform this week, obviously. Team of the week. Icardi, Hazard, Loftus Cheek, onto Alonso. Four men to pick out in the box. Zaha being one of them. Heading is not a strong point, though. Seri gets the ball back. Ball is played inside. We're kind of outnumbered there. Harry Maguire didn't get the challenge in. Scherler's the man in space again. This is nice football from Fulham. What a save. What an unbelievable save. I thought that was a goal. I was just about to say, how good was that? But Kepa flew across the goal. And I think it was fingertips. Did it take a deflection on the way through? No, it didn't. That is a top, top save. Top, top save. We've still got corner to defend, though. Approaching the hour mark. Pretty much bang on. Corner comes in. It's headed away. Keeper made a, the keeper made a bit of a hash of that. So he hits the shot. He's redeemed himself. Double substitution being made. Hazard and Icardi will be rested. We've got more important games further down the line. Willian and Alvaro Morata coming on. And yes, I did see the comment saying that Morata's celebration in FIFA 20 will be him crying. And yes, I did find that quite funny. As P with a throw in. 15 minutes to go. Barkley, Kante, Loftus Cheek. This is nice. This is more like Maurizio Stari, his style of play. Willian, Barkley, Zaha. No clear shooting opportunity. We'll go back to Loftus Cheek. Willian, Alonso tries to put it into the box, but the delivery was poor. All that lovely build up, and then he goes and wastes it on the cross. Morata to Barkley. Finesse effort. Ooh, that was mighty close. Session on with the ball inside. Rudiger caught out of position. Kamara plays the ball out. Session on with a good ball in. Brian with a header. Fulham are back in it. Grandstand finish. Seven minutes remaining. That was some poor ropey defending. Rudiger committed, didn't make it, and then there was holes everywhere and Brian the left back has come in and just nutted that into the net now I feel nervous now I feel under pressure just got to hold our position at the back there Kante finds Ruben Loftus cheek sidesteps his man Morata oh my god he was a bit slow to pass that wasn't he got his feet in a bit of a muddle he was a costa plays the ball through Rudiger will get there surely needs to he's found Alonso this is risky stuff Oh, my word. We've played our way out of trouble quite nicely in the end. Zaha sets off. Zaha could be in. Zaha. Oh, it's going to roll through to the keeper. In to stop his time, though. Only two minutes to be added, so we're well into that already. Maguire misses the header, but surely, ref, that's going to be time. We're going to lay this back. Pump it forward. Not quite as far as I'd hoped, but the referee brings the game to a close in the end. A reasonably comfortable victory. Could have been shaky for the last five minutes or so, but it wasn't. Fulham 1, Chelsea 2. So we're on the road again, just two or, well, just three days later. It's Saturday now, we're going to Wales to take on Cardiff City, who sit 19th in the Premier League table. One place just above Fulham, who we just beat quite comfortably in the end. They're playing a 4-3-3 formation as well, so they're not holding back. They're not looking to sit here and defend. As the home side, they're going to try and take the game to us. We've rested quite a few players for this game because the fixture build-up is causing a lot of fatigue in the side. You can see Ampadu starts, Roberto in midfield. He was so effective there when we played him at Goodison Park. Pedro and Adoy behind Olivier Giroud. Giroud, another one of those players that we are going to probably, probably, unless he comes up with an unbelievable performance here, because he's been decent in the Europa League. I say probably look to move on in the summer. A lot of you think you agree with that. Pedro hits a shot, and that is an absolute start of dreams. Another player that we could potentially be moving on in the summer. I, I feel a bit bad about that, though. Pedro's more effective for me in this career mode than Willian has been. Especially when he does stuff like this. And that's an assist for Giroud as well. Great strike though. Here is Gunnison. Plays the ball back. David Luiz with a good challenge. He's been in and out of the side. Well, kind of out the side more than, uh, more than previously since Harry Maguire joined the club. Maguire and Rudiger has been like our preferred centre-back partnership. It's not any sort of reflection on David Luiz's performances. But Maguire being the new man. The younger of the two. And the fresher of the two kind of just takes precedence at left back. Alonso's going to try and score a banger now. Looks to chip the keeper. He wasn't far away. That initial cross, by the way, I thought was going to be tucked home at the back stick by Callum hudson Adoy, who we're going to concentrate on his development even further, along with the two youth players that we've signed. Kovacic into Jorginho. Well, it's clear early on why Cardiff are so low in the table. They've been so poor. Lovely back heel. hudson Adoy looks to finesse one into the corner. Smithies gets down low, but Opening 15 minutes, we could be 2 or even 3 nil up by now. Could have had this game wrapped up. The Cardiff side has been woeful. And that's strange. It's not normally a trait of a Neil Warnock side. They're normally very organised, very hard to beat. Kovacic slips it through to Alonso on his right foot and he scoops that onto a different, into a different stadium probably. That was worse than Mahrez's penalty. Look at that. It was as bad as I thought actually. He did kind of get it close. 
I'm tempted to sort of give the feedback to EA. I think other YouTubers, what are you doing on the floor? Oh my god, and now you get up as I try and run past you. I think I'm finding ultimate difficulty, and I know some others are too. And like I said, I don't know whether it's because we're having an exceptional season or all the other teams around us are just not winning games and putting their reserve teams out. But ultimate difficulty, I feel, should be harder than this. Although realistically, yes, Chelsea could challenge for a Premier League title. Hopefully they will and should get to the stage we're currently in in the Europa League. I feel like each game should be tougher. At the beginning of the series, it was quite tough. Like in the middle stages around Christmas, we started to drop points. But recently, we've just been steamrolling teams. Hudson Adoy. That's inside. Kind of escapes his man as well. It's a decent run. Going to knock it right. Here is Sergio Roberto. That touch was brilliant. He squares it. Giroud's there. That goes top corner. And Olivier Giroud has bagged himself a Premier League goal. He really doesn't want to leave, does he? Every time we play him, he just does enough to be like, he's all right, you know. Great work from Adoy. Touch here from Roberto was great. And the awareness just to cut it back into the path of Giroud, who couldn't really miss. All right, that's a nice little cutback. Here's Gunnison. Plays it. Oh, the chances are coming now. Half an hour into the game. Some games also feel like a bit of a pendulum. You know, they sort of swing here, swing there. We start flying out the blocks. Every single game. Well, most games. More often than not, our performance is good. And then sort of halfway through the game, it just goes to, to shit, basically. And we start, all our players just become a little bit weird and seem really sluggish and slow. Other people have said the same in the comments. I don't know why that is. Looking to wrap this game up from this corner, though. There's a header from Kovacic straight at Smithies. But yeah, something to keep an eye on. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. How you found FIFA 18, 19. Come on, keep up, kids. How you found FIFA 19 so far? Pedro, little step over. Go on, Callum. Big step overs. Back to Jorginho. Through the gap. Through the gap. Into there. Hudson Adoy coming in. He didn't really attack it as much as I'd like. If that was Giroud at the back stick, I feel like we were 3 0 up there. Heading on physical and challenging is not really Adoy's strong point at this point. How many times can you say point in the sentence? Let's just try it again. Hopefully, get three points here. Boom. Get that clear, Kepper. Weird technique. Half-time whistle's about to go. We've got a comfortable lead, and again, we're dominating. But saying that, we have played the bottom and second from bottom team in this episode so far. And this game's still not won. Cardiff not really had a sniff. Kepper has been largely a spectator. We've played an hour, and we're just starting to knock the ball around quite nicely. Aspi waiting for runners. He's got them now. Oh, that's nicely done. Can Pedro get there with his pace? He can get there with his pace. He's got Giroud in the middle. Pedro might go it alone. Smithies with the save. And Olivier Giroud can't sort his feet out. I was literally trying to hit that first time. And he was like, no, no. Jorginho lays it back to Kovacic. Roberto, good ball. Marcus Alonso might just whip one in here. Giroud's in there to attack it. Smithies does the brave thing. Or the stupid thing. Depending on which way you look at it. And I'm going to hit this with Jorginho. Tops. <laughs> Wasn't far away. Fancied a long shot. He wasn't closed down, was he? Cross comes in. Shut up. I was... Shut up. How has he scored that? Literally, Louise or Ampadu. Hard to tell which one, isn't it? Because of the hair, obviously. Just in, in the place to head that away. I'm literally lost for words. And who is that manager? And where is Neil Warnock? Where is Neil Warnock? Obviously not in the game. Another manager. Sorry, he's not in the game. Let's have a little look here. How is... It's Ampadu, right? I'm in front of the man. I'm about to head it away, and his foot has gone through my face. Let's just have another little cheeky look, shall we? Just about to head it clear. Just about to head it clear. Boom. Perfect connection. Kicked in the chops. No free kick for dangerous play. Goal. Look at Kepler looking at it like... Oh no, we've been caught, we've been caught. Azpilicueta's come off and Rudiger's come on because Azpi was knackered. So we try and defend. Rudiger's won that header. Louise, now the game has opened up. Oh, Kovacic, that first touch was minging. Still got there, Jorginho, Giroud. Pedro, this is nice play, really nice play. hudson Adoy. cheeky little turn. Got Alonso on the outside. Going to go on his left side, obviously. Puts the ball in the mixer. Why is there nobody in there? Come on, get a third. Wrap it up. Giroud, there you go. Yes, Olivier. Yes, Olivier. Right, thoughts on him. Should we keep him? Should we sell him? Let me know. I'm not just going to keep him because he scored two goals against a team that are 19th in the table. I just want your honest opinion. Because I do get the impression that if he played every game, he'd bang 
quite a few of goals for us in this career mode. Quite a few more goals. Oh, no, Zahor. Kind of coming back at us. That's a lovely cross. Really going to the right place at the right time. Roberto sticking his head in where it might get kicked off. And here is Kovacic. Kovacic so good. Definitely going to look to bring him in. Do all we can to sign him on a permanent basis. Been so effective. Here's Alonso. Giroud. Jorginho. Giroud's on a hat-trick, so why not? <laughs> Smithies with an incredible save. We're into stoppage time as well. That's why I hit that. Could still get that hat-trick, of course. Pedro looks to find him. Ball is half cleared away. Pedro, the bouncer's probably done him. He's still got there, though. Oh, ref, don't blow it there. Victory again. 3-1. As expected. Beautiful stuff. I had a cheeky feeling that the next game would be a Europa League game. That's not the case. We're still in Premier League action. So after this game, we're going to have, I think, seven games, six games left. Um, and we'll hopefully still be in the driving seat and we'll have racked up three more points. William won't be playing, though. He's got an injury. We've got more reports on the two players that we signed. Jorge Asendo. Asenjo even still got potential of 94, as has Jordi Grassi. This guy. I'm getting excited about him. He's still only 15. We're going to start to focus more and more on training these two guys. His value is 700k already, so I've got high hopes. I'm looking forward to bringing these two through the academy. Next opponent for us is Brighton. No disrespect to the three teams in today's episode, but all teams that you would expect us to beat comfortably. If we beat Brighton here, that's exactly what will have happened. Three comfortable victories. I'm hoping that will be the case. Interested to look at the Premier League table because unless Spurs have kept winning, we could literally be right on the cusp of wrapping this title up. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got to do the business here first. Against the Brighton side, we're going to come here not afraid. Not afraid to play. They're going to play a 4-4-1-1 formation, I think, or maybe two up top. No, Pascal Gross is going to be behind Florian Andone. Bernardo, oh, what a ball that is. Surely he's offside. No, Andone will take over. Oh, my word. The dip and swerve and everything on that shot had me worried. Not Kepa, though. He was up to the task. Great bit of football once again, but the first time hit. What technique that is. Corner to Brighton. It's a poor one. Kante's clearance is equally as poor. And now they've got space on the edge of the box for Stevens. Alonso dives in. That's pathetic. That's pathetic. I only tried to do that to block the shot. Thought he was going to hit it. When the space opened up for him, he didn't. And I've, I've bitten. I've dived in. So Andone stepping up. Kepa trying his best to put him off. As are those fans behind the goal. And I have done. I made a little step to the uh, other side of the goal and then dived across. Made the save. And not only that, not only have we kept that penalty out, but the counter-attack could be on. He was in Golo Kante. Oh, wow. Good tackle from Stevens. That's incredible. I was literally looking where to pass it. Didn't make my mind up quickly enough. And there's holes all over the show. Kepa's half come out here. Got player on the line in Harry Maguire. And Kepa makes a save. What a mental start to this game. Honestly, this is not Brighton. This is not Brighton. And Donate. It's the third save Kepa's had to make in the opening 15 minutes. They are all over us. Literally like a rash. I can't get out a half. Can't get out a half. Corner comes in. Need to win that header. Jorginho does. Now we'll get out a half because the pace that this man possesses is unbelievable. There's only one man ahead of him, though, and that man is Mauro Icardi. The man banging form. I should have passed it. Very frustrating. Always one touch too many with me, isn't it? It's a good ball over the top from Stevens. And Dono tried to pass it when he'd have probably been better off trying to bring the ball down in his stride and going for goal. In the meantime, we've got possession back. A couple of short, sharp key passes here, and we could be in. Pedro with a nice turn. Space in the middle for Jorginho. Again, Alonso is the outlet on the left. Might have to go for goal here. Marcus Alonso, good strike as well. Matty Ryan got down really well. And that's not even going to be a corner. Oh, dummy. Dummy with a little turn. Cut back inside. Cross comes in. David Luiz, right place, right time. Wins the header. Been very good in real life this season, David Luiz. And now, because of that clearance, Wilfred Zaha could be in. He needs to start turning towards goal. He's done that now. Left foot. No, he hits it with his right. And Ryan, falling back, still manages to push it over the bar. It was gross. Barkley in there, wins it back, gives the ball away immediately. Proper, plays it left to Bernardo. Brighton's build-up play has been a joy to watch, actually, because that's what we've been doing for most of it. Don't pull the defenders out of position. David Luiz, well done. Great interception. Nearly gets munched for his troubles. But now we can break. We've got two players left. There's a lot of numbers forward. We're on the stroke of half-time. Ref, do not blow that whistle, whatever you do. We've got Icardi, we've got Alonso, and I've played the worst possible pass. 
So into the second half we go. Not our strongest 45 minutes. Far from it. We sat there in the last game like, oh, it's too easy. Oh, we're finding this far too easy. And now Brighton are tearing us apart. Luckily, they haven't managed to find a way past Kepa yet. But if the first half is anything like the second, or the second is anything like the first, I should say, it's only a matter of time. Harry Maguire gets up well and clears for now. Virginio slips it through. Zaha could be in. This would be very harsh on Brighton if he takes this chance. Oh, tried to be too cute, too clever. Should have just drilled it. Okay, we're getting control of this. Jorginho looks for Pedro. Got on the score sheet last time out. Looks to turn inside. Ah, oh, just tried to slip that through to Icardi. That was the right ball to play. I just didn't execute it properly. And now we've gone rushing forward. Happens a lot, far too often. Something we need to stop. Harry Maguire saves the day, though, and gets back well. Honestly, our defensive shape, ropey at times. As we try, we're too eager to try and win the ball back. And Pedro, that pass, needs to be better. I think the reason I'm finding it hard to break this Brighton side down is because they don't close you down, look, when you've got the ball. The defenders don't push up. They just sit back, which means there's very little space in behind for me to either slip it through or play the ball over the top. It's hard. I don't like it. Maybe it's something we should try because we're easy to break down. David Luiz is going out there. He's got some defending to do. And Done plays it backwards. Cross comes in. Maguire heads it away. Solid header. Barkley flicks it on. Pedro to Icardi. This is looking more promising. And Pedro's still away on that right-hand side. Should have played that a little quicker. Still can get it to Pedro. Here he is. Turning. Come on, lads. Let's be a bit... Um, oh, my God. So, we've got under 10 minutes to go. And Brighton have themselves a corner, which I will look to counter-attack from. Gross with the corner. Kepa, get there. Kepa, get there. Kepa. Oh, my word. That was a bit of a collision. No one is willingly running forward other than Pedro. So, he's my only option. Icardi now in possession. Goes back to Jorginho. We're going to have to go left. That's better. Bit of a purpose about our build-up play now. Alonso. Jorginho comes feet. Around the corner to Zaha. Twist and turn in. He's going to be out-muscled. But Jorginho is there. Into Zaha again. Barkley. Good run from Aspi. Turns. Oh, I've got no one to pass it to. Pedro. Lay it off. Hit it. That would have been a sick goal. That would have been a sick goal. We're into stoppage time. Bright and clear the ball. Looks like it's going to finish nil-nil, guys. That game was disappointing. That game was really disappointing. Ref brings it to a close. Performance was shoddy. Yes, we've rotated a couple of players, but that team should be strong enough to beat Brighton. Who, to their credit, it wasn't just about us being poor. To their credit, they were very good. Not as good as Crystal Palace, though, who I've just seen have beaten Tottenham. So, at the moment, our lead with six games left is 13 points. Had we have won that game... We would have been one win away from the title. Unbelievable. Anyway, Liverpool are up to third. United fourth. City now come out of nowhere. They're in fifth. They're not going to knock United off the top four, though. It's near impossible to do unless United spectacularly fail and City win the remainder of their games. Arsenal in ninth. We're a Brighton 13th. So they're actually having a decent season, which is probably why they put up a decent fight. But soon... We've got the next round of the Europa League. Very much looking forward to that. Those games come thick and fast when the uh, two legs come. Obviously, we're in the knockout stage. I think we're in the last eight. So, I'm looking forward to playing Feyenoord there. But title, I want to get that wrapped up. I want to get that done. So, we can maybe even play two of the, the players from the Youth Academy. Promote them. Get them involved. That kind of stuff. But it's been a fun first season here. Like I said, let me know your thoughts. I am an ultimate difficulty. I'm not going to change the sliders just yet. I think next year the competition will be a lot higher. Because at the moment, we're on 75 points. That's not a massively impressive score tally. We've drawn six, lost three. That's kind of what you'd expect your champions to kind of do over the course of a season. So I think it's just the other teams not being good enough. But drop a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Don't forget I'm streaming tonight, 8.30-ish. Be there. Click the link below. See you next time.